Hi guys, Captain Nick here with Marine Max in St. Pete. Captain Keith from Clearwater. And you've heard about it before. It's a tale as old as time, but it's a lot more prevalent today. Differences between mono hulls, power catamarans, some of these terms, what do, they, what do they mean? So Keith, what's behind us? Why don't you go over what's going on beneath the waterline? So behind me here, I've got a 2018 Boston Whaler 28 Outrage. And people will talk about chines. What is a chine? So it's kind of these steps that are down in here where it's cut here. So it gives you that nice little ridge right there. That'll help break up the water, make the, the ride a little softer and nicer when you're cutting through waves. And something else unique to these whalers is called the reverse chine. So this outer edge, it's actually rolled kind of up underneath there. So if you're hitting waves and the water's coming up, this is gonna take it and knock it back down to give you a drier ride. Um, people will also talk about uh, dead rise. And what does that mean? Well, the higher the degree of dead rise you have, the deeper V of your boat, which is gonna be a softer ride. This particular boat has got a 23 degree dead rise. And how that's measured is from the flat part bottom of the hull coming up to here, it's gonna be that angle that's on there. And like I said, this one is, is 23 degrees. So the higher the dead rise, the more it's gonna cut through the water, but it's also gonna be, you know, a little bit rockier. So like your flats boats and stuff like that are gonna be a flatter, less dead rise. So it's gonna give you a little bit more stability like in shallower water if you're walking around the gunnels and that kind of stuff. So over here we have an Aquila 32 power catamaran. What is a power cat? What is a catamaran? in general. Of course, you have two hulls instead of one. First and foremost, phenomenal trailer storage underneath when you're up on land here. Of course, I'm just kidding. Little joke there. So, um, But seriously, over here, two hulls, narrow hulls, narrow entry points. The boat's going to ride a little bit differently. It's going to be wider, of course. On a lot of these mono hulls, now you're going to see sea keepers or other gyro stabilizers that are going to eliminate that side to side roll. Naturally, from the design of a cat, they're going to be very stable boats. They're not going to rock back and forth very much. Now, of course, they're going to turn a little bit differently too. It's a little bit weird at first. You're going to be, I call it a magic carpet ride. You'll turn and the boat's going to lean the other direction a little bit and it's going to stay flat. It takes a little while to get used to, but there's a lot of pros of a catamaran hull. First of all, in a head sea, these two hulls right here, they're gonna break the waves really nice. You have these narrow entry points. You're gonna have a soft landing. You're not gonna slam very much. Um, and then of course you get the added space too. So when you're in the boat, whereas like for instance, a 36 Aquila, it is gonna be a 14 foot seven inch beam. To get that same beam on a mono hull, you're gonna be, need to be looking at 45 footers. So power catamaran, mono hull, lots of pros and cons either way. Stay tuned. Come on down, hop on a sea trial, whatever boat, we got it for you and um, we'll let you make the call. So we've said it before, Keith, right? It all comes down to what type of boating you're gonna be doing to what boat is gonna fit you and your family best. Whether it's a hybrid style hull like this, a deep V with heavy, heavy dead rise, or of course a power catamaran that's gonna be stable. And what do you think? It's up to you as the consumer and, and, and seriously like, what your ideal day is on the water, what you're wanting to do with the boat. You know, if you want a nice, big, stable platform, put a lot of people on a boat, go hang out on an island, travel around, you know, you got the big stability of a power catamaran. You know, if you want to run hard, get out there fast, go fishing and stuff like that, you know, you got the, the mono haul type boats. Um, but then again, you can't count out like the Aquila 28, right? And then there's some other ones coming out. So everything's evolving. It's just kind of, you know, whatever fits best into your, your lifestyle. Yeah, so come on down to Marine Max. We have all the flavors. Pick which one's gonna work best for you and your family. And um, hey, let's have some fun with it. See you guys out on the water.